If you would have told me that three games into this Western Conference Finals, we would lead three games to nil, I would say great, but I don't believe you. But that's where we are now, coming off the best offensive performance in the career of Don Payne. And it's time for us to head into game four and try and close this series out and complete this sweep in the final installment of the San Antonio Saga. This is the final season after all. And if we do win, we are in the finals to try and wrap up our in-depth story with the Woodsman. Let's go right into it because I don't have any adjustments to make, no changes. It looks like the Spurs will stick with their same starting five. Each game has been closer than the last one, but we still played really well for the first two and a half quarters of game three. And I think that we have the ability to do it again. Uh, meanwhile, the sound are up on Brooklyn three games to one now so the one seed over there is in danger of being knocked out of the playoffs as they are missing Luka Doncic and uh we could be on track for a expansion team matchup in the finals to round out the series folks which does not get much better than than that but here we go same starting five as your previous games let's try and keep the Spurs uh in San Antonio they will not be coming back with us to Vancouver once this game is done. It's their funeral. We're wearing black. Here we go. We are back at the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. It's Don Payne wins the tip. It's our chance to sweep the San Antonio Spurs for the first time. Let's get it done. And that is Jordan Lewis stolen by Hickson. As Halliburton blocks his shot, he gets it back. Then he lost the ball and Graves picks it up. Halliburton lobs it for Anderson and there's your first bucket of the day. I want to get Anderson going early on and get him back on track after a 10-point performance in Game 3. Need better shooting from him. As Hickson's wide open for the tray and that one's not going to drop. He has had his fair share of struggles the last several games. I forget if he was good or bad in game one, but in games two and three, he was bad. So they need him to step up if they're going to win this game as Anderson scores again. Double screens for Hickson. Graves switches to him. Griffin's open for three, but that one's not going to fall. But Gordon's there on the glass for two. Halliburton over Hickson. Yes. Screen from Gordon. Hickson down low, readjusting midair, getting around Don Payne. Nice move. He shot 48% here in the playoffs, but definitely a whole lot worse in this one series. So he, he, he must have played pretty damn well in those first two rounds before he faced us. Graves for three. He always knocks down his first shot. I don't know why he's doing it, but he's doing it every game. Hickson. Steps back and knocks it down. He's got five, or four rather. Halliburton attacks the paint and scores again over Hickson. Used the glass that time. He's been great in this conference finals. Griffin takes the screen. Hesitates. Goes back to Gordon for the open three. But that one's offline. He was only one for seven in game three and was a big reason why they did not come back and win. They lost that game by five, but one for seven on pretty much all open threes for Gordon is definitely not what you would expect from one of the best players, if not the best player in the league right now. Gordon spins, attacks the paints, but paint stops him in his tracks. Time counting down. Christopher over Graves got it for his first points. And Christopher has not really done a whole lot in any game this series. I think in game one, he was all right and shot like six for nine. But these last two games, he really has not done a whole lot. He's not taking too many shots. He's not attacking the rim. He just does not get the ball as much anymore without Shea on the, on the court, which is weird. Because you would think that he would get more shots. But I think that Hickson has taken away a lot of those, and so has A.J. Griffin. Bokasevsky then almost turns it over. But Griffin hangs on to it, and Gordon knocks down the shot. Anderson, a foot behind the line, not going to get it to drop this time. And Griffin was right there with him, too. 
On the other end, Christopher on the move. Can't knock it down. Oh, what a pass to Anderson. Can he score this? Yes. And that was a tough one too, but what a pass from Todd Graves. Okasevsky. Guarded by Vanderbilt. He has not done pretty much anything on the offensive end in any of these first three games. And now he turns it over. Vanderbilt strips it from him. Up ahead to Graves. He attacks Christopher and missed the layup. Come on. Christopher has plenty of space, but he does not capitalize. Payne turns it over as Hickson came flying in to jump the pass. He read that one very well. I screen from Calvin Gordon. Christopher got, got the switch to Payne, fires over him and got it. So clearly here in game four, he's getting a lot more looks, at least in this first quarter. Alaburn attacks again over Hickson. Can't seem to miss when he's guarded by number five. Christopher has it jarred loose by Vanderbilt and it's picked up by Halliburton. Good passing up ahead. Anderson has to fire and it's good. Griffin back out to Hickson. Nice pump fake to get Anderson up in the air. Freed himself up but he can't finish the play. You're seeing the impact from Vanderbilt on the defensive end so far in this game. Already has like at least two steals. Might even have three if I'm counting incorrectly. But he's been great on defense so far. And it's turning into offense for the most part. But this time, Payne is stopped twice in a row. First by Gordon, then by Tommy Sanders. They feed Gordon down low. Mismatch on Carney. Easy bucket for him. Halliburton over a tall defender. Not going to get it to go. Nice stop there by Calvin Gordon. Here goes that double screen action. Griffin out of a shot finds Christopher. But he can't hit the three. And that is where they have struggled all series long. Anderson back out to Halliburton for the open jumper. That one's cash. Really good first quarter shooting wise from him. Off the screen, Christopher fades away and can't knock it down. Almost fell in, though. Anderson attacks the rim, and he just missed it, but Payne's there on the glass for two. Out to Carney for three. Missed it. Payne tips it out this time. Carney dives for it, but he's out of bounds. Nice show on the hustle there. Murphy will check in for Payne. Azette will check in for Halliburton. I still have yet to change his number. Jesus Christ. Under three to play here in this first quarter. Vancouver in front by seven right now. We'll see how the offense can continue to score and if the defense can keep getting some stops as Sanders steps out of bounds as the momentum of that wayward pass just kind of carried him out. Zet inside attacks Batista and lays it in. And his first minute off the bench is not shot well this playoff spot. I think he's done better, especially last game. He was actually pretty decent. So I'm going to stick with him. Hickson, that's a tough shot. And he's fouled by Murphy, apparently. I don't know if I buy that. First one good from Hickson. And he goes two for two. That's cutting back top of the key. He chose not to shoot, though. Probably a smart idea. Batista's right there with him. He will fire off the screen, though. And he missed it. Murphy can't pull down the board. It's Kuzma instead who grabs it. And now Vanderbilt almost stole it. He poked at it again. Hickson for three. Offline. Is that cut? Nobody tracks him down. He's all alone there in the paints. Ray Murphy throws it up, and he's fouled by Keon Murphy, his second foul. That one definitely was a foul. Not going to argue that one. Free throw good. 
Don Payne checks back in. Murphy heads to power forward as Murphy goes one for two at the stripe. They hoof it up ahead to Carney. He steps back, pulls the trigger, and he missed it. I would have been sick if that would have dropped. Hickson, quick trigger. That one falls. They've closed the gap to six. Murphy over to his Zets. He finds Carney. He's got some space again. And this time it'll roll around. Duff the backboard and in. 28-19. About 30 seconds left. Uzma getting aggressive. And he's called for a personal foul. Pretty much just a charge, I guess. He took out Payne with his leading shoulder. I think that's why. Last play of the first quarter. Zets has an open shot. And it's good. Six first quarter points for him. That's why he's out there. Providing some offense off the bench. Just what we needed from him as Hickson whiffs on a half quarter. Really good first from us. 30 to 19. Very similar as to games one and two. Start of the second quarter, the Spurs offense still has yet to really start off a game well. The first halves have all been pretty poor from them. That's some decent second halves, but they got to start, you know, knocking down their shots, which Trey Murphy will do right here. Why am I telling them what to do? What the hell is my problem? How about they don't knock down their shots and we just lead by like 30 at halftime and just breeze through this series and head to the finals, baby. That would be nice. Payne can't knock down the mid-ranger. Gordon was right there with him. Time counting down for the Spurs. Batista launches, but has yet to score here in game one. Bill Carney, another triple. That one's online. Hickson attacks Carney at the rim, but he can't finish the play. And the ball rolls out of bounds. It's going to stay with San Antonio. Josh Christopher will check in. And Hickson will take a seat. He's played most of this game, so he needs a breather. Christopher has Gordon wide open. There he is for three. But he has not been good from out there this entire series. Todd Graves at the rim. Fouled by Christopher, his first. Free throws coming up for Big Todd. He's been much better this series than he was in last season's Western Conference Finals. Definitely. I think having him, Payne, and Vanderbilt out there, our three primary great defenders, has done wonders for this team in this series. Murphy to Batista. He's got some space, and there he goes. Zet gets the feed. He's got Christopher on him. He pump fakes. Go up, man. What are you doing? You got to shoot that. You score that easily. That is a much tougher shot. Batista fires the floater, but it hits back iron. Graves was right there in his face. 35-25 through three in this second quarter. Nine to play until halftime. Trying to continue this really good start to game four. Zed has it. Time's counting down. He's going to shoot this for three. Not going to drop. Pain can't get it as Gordon tipped it over his head to himself. On the other end, Murphy. Baseline shots. It's cash. Pain is fouled by Poku now on a shooting foul. He will have a couple of free throws. First one, good. Love seeing that. Payne goes two for two. Hell yeah. Great work. Ten point lead. Four free throws for either team. They missed one of theirs, but free throws have not been a huge factor in this game. Or it really in this series. But the three-pointers have. As Griffin knocks it down. The Spurs can 
pick things up from downtown, then that will definitely give us a lot more trouble than we've had so far. Azet responds, though. That's what I'm talking about. Okasevsky somehow finds Griffin down low. Anderson's in front. Well, Griffin's right at the rim, and Anderson reached in. Christopher given a foot of space, and he does not make a mistake. Alan Burden back to Payne. Open jumper. He can knock these down. 55% from the field for your Woodsman, 46 for the Spurs. Pretty much what's been the case for most of the series in, the, in, in these first halves. Christopher, second try. Not going to get two in a row, though. And hands off to Azet. Yeah, it gets down low. Fires over Poku and got it with the left hand. Poku has been diced up on defense. He's been bad on the offensive end and has barely touched the ball. He really just has been a just like a body out there. He's just a guy. Hasn't really done a whole lot. Christopher for three. Off again. But Vanderbilt slips out of bounds after pulling down the rebound. Awesome. Spurs ball. New possession. Griffin takes the screen. Attacks. Payne is called for a foul. Really? That was a clean block. But it's his first foul. With about half the quarter left. Griffin's been... Probably their best offensive player in the series alongside Calvin Gordon. But neither guy has had like a great game by any means, really. Anderson. Pump fakes. Got Gordon up in the air. Look at that. Time and time again, this guy knows how to shake Gordon off him and shoot over him every single time. Tista. For three, no, but Gordon comes in for the tip-in. Alberton back to Payne. Another open jumper for him. Not this time, though. Good pass, though, by Alberton. You take that look every time. We got Carney at the scores table right now, so he'll check in soon. I'm imagining Graves will check in the next couple of minutes, as well as Christopher scores to cut our lead to seven. Alliburton lobs it for Vanderbilt over the top of Tommy Sanders. Beautiful pick and roll. Beautiful pass up there over the top. That's how you draw it up. Double screens for Christopher. He fades away. Tough shot. Up ahead to Azette. He throws it to Vanderbilt. He fires over Sanders and got it. Tista finds Sanders. He hesitates and scores, and Vando fouled him. He was going to dunk that one in, but then Vanderbilt fouled him, and he just he just took the foul instead. The free throw's good. Carney checks in and shooting guard as Zet will take a seat for the rest of this first half. Mismatch for Payne against Griffin. He fades away, but misses with his left hand. Not a good look right there. He's one for seven. What? Jesus. Uzma feeds Griffin. Back out to Hickson. They can't find an open look. Griffin has to fire. It's contested, but it doesn't matter. And our lead's been cut back to six just like that. Carney tries to lay it in over Batista. He does it through some traffic. Ixin has some space, and he's not going to miss that one. He's in better this game. Payne to Halliburton. He's wide open. Got to have it, but he can't knock it down. The Spurs have a chance to make it a one-score game here. Halliburton got caught off ball off the screen. Ixin has it. He finds Batista in the corner. His three is in there. Two-point game with two and a half to play until halftime. They've been much better shooting-wise here in this second quarter. Alliburton spins, hesitates, fires, and got it between two defenders. Ten points, eight assists here in this first half. Five for seven. Yeah, this guy is uh, 
Just absolutely facilitating and breathing life into this offense, man. And now he almost got it off. Hickson, Payne, kicking to steal a Sanders dive for it, showing off the grit and the hustle. Griffin attacks the paint, fires, and Anderson's there for the stop. What was that by Halliburton, man? That was a bad idea. He tried to find Carney on the cut, but Kuzma jumped that pass easily. Give it right back to the Spurs. 90 seconds left. Can we end this half with a couple of stops and a little bit of an uh, offensive flurry, hopefully? Griffin, guarded by Vanderbilt, has to fire the floater. Missed it again. Carney finds Payne. He hands off to Halliburton. Carney will pull the trigger. That's not going to fall. Here comes a screen for Hicks, and he's going to shoot this. Step back three. It's good. One point game. When he's on, they're going to be in business. When he's not, they're going to lose. That's how, it, how this works right now with SGA not on the courts. And now for the series. Anderson has Griffin on him. Can he attack this? He won't. Got to find a better look here. Alberton fires with some space, and it's good. The Spurs will have the final shot of this first half. Batista crosses. Carney's there with them. It's going to shoot this off the screen. He's going to shoot this well-contested air ball to end the half. It's a very slim lead for your Woodsman. 56-53 through two. Start of the second half. Can the Woodsmen increase their lead beyond what it's at right now? Maybe so, but also just maybe not. Christopher's playing better. Hickson's playing better. And uh, the Spurs are better for it. Halliburton finds Graves. Open three. Can't knock it down, and Gordon pulls it in. Gotta start knocking down these threes, fellas, because they are. Christopher, mid-range jumper, it's good, and the Spurs take the lead. Anderson rolls to the rim, and how does he miss that? I get Griffin just came flying in, but come on. Lokasevsky, back out to Griffin, wide open three, can't get it to go. Alliburton steps back, open three, offline. Our threes right now just aren't dropping. Ixin over Payne, missed the shots, and Payne pulls it in. Go on, fellas, let's get the offense going here. Alliburton another three. That one just barely rolls out. Griffin. Finds Christopher over Graves. Missed this time. Anderson penetrates. And he's fouled by Griffin. Free throws coming up. Haven't seen him be aggressive this game. He just missed a free throw. Wow. Rare sights. Tied at 57. Bokusevsky fires, and his, I think his first shot is good. Wabatam thwarted. Payne gets to it, though, and his shot's up and in. Christopher pulling the trigger a lot here this second half. But luckily, that three is not going to drop. Anderson. It's inside, fades away, and Gordon's right there to block it right to him. We get it back, Graves has to shoot the three, and that one is off the mark. Both teams have not been good from three. Just straight up, once again, it's been some very shoddy, beyond-the-arc shooting, and Christopher is like one for eight. Gordon has missed all of his threes as Halliburton strips it from Dustin Hickson. Can we score off that? Halliburton for three, there we go, there's one. 
Yeah, I just checked. Both teams are sub 30%, but Gordy just hit his first one. And we're all tied again at 62. We're trading buckets here in this third quarter. This game could get dicey shortly. The closer we get to the fourth quarter, the, the more dicey it gets. Payne fouled by Hickson. More free throws coming up. And he go two for two again. First one is good. And Payne left the second one short. Hickson fires over Halliburton, but it's no good. There's a mismatch down low. Payne against Poku. Back him down. Don't take a shot. Back him down. Or just do that. 9-9 nine and nine for Payne, 11-12 and 12 for Gordon. So Gordon's had the, had the best over Payne in, in this game, which is probably the first time you can say that in this series. As Hickson has just been, you know, kind of inconsistent in this game. Hasn't been bad, but he's been relatively inconsistent. Alberton down low. Hands off to Payne. Gordon's there with him. He fires anyways, and he missed. That one shot that I harp on every game. It's just not his shot. It never goes in. Screen for Christopher. He fires. And it's good. He's done a well from the mid-range in this one. Alliburton and another three-pointer. It's good. Off the back guide and through. What is Trey Murphy doing? He just threw it right to Joel Carney. Up ahead to Halliburton. Not Halliburton. Anderson, who's fouled. So hopefully he can knock down both of these and not go one for two this time. I don't think he will. He No, he, he just does. Why is our free throw shooting so weird this series? Both him and Halliburton have missed several free throws, which they usually don't. Ixid. Out to Batista. Great pass. And he's he's good for the three. Alliburton stops again and hits again. Man, he's sleeping good. 20 points for him. 9 for 13. Yeah, I mean, he's been a complete leader. Ixin steps back. Open three for him, but he can't respond. Barney. He's the mismatch. She gets the ball to Payne. Back Murphy down. You got to score that. How do you possibly miss that? Payne, come on, man. We got to do better here. We got, just got to do better. That is embarrassing. Murphy misses a tough angled shot from the baseline. Four and a half to play here in this third quarter. Let's end this one strong. Anderson gets inside. That's got to go in. And it does as he takes a spill. But he's been good. Has not been too aggressive. He's not forcing shots. But when he has taken a shot, he's knocked it down for the most part. Hickson finds Sanders at the rim. But Payne gets the stop anyways. Tough miss right there for Sanders. Anderson trying to attack Sanders now. And he just missed it. Almost had it blocked. That's good defense. Tista. Behind the line, way off the mark. Six point lead for your Woodsman, trying to increase it here. They've been scoreless for the last two and a half minutes. As Carney just steps out of bounds. Backups now in there for the Woodsman. Batista in the corner for the triple, not going to fall. So, what can Graves, Carney, Azette, Vando, and Keon Murphy get us? Well, they're all out there. Feed Murphy down low. Mismatch against Batista. Show Payne how it's done. That's how you do it. Double screens for Hickson. Some hesitation. Then he finds Batista. Good passing by the Spurs, but nothing open so far. Batista's going to have to shoot this, and it's off again. Got to use this scoreless stretch by the Spurs to our advantage here. Let's find a good look. Graves attacks. Back out to a Zet. Decent look, but it's not going to fall. 
Time counting down once again for the Spurs. Batista, third time's the charm. Yes. I'd love to score here. Carney fires quickly, but missed the shot, and we can't grab an offensive board to save our lives. Hickson for three. I thought that was going to go. Carney attacks the rim, getting by Hickson. What a move. That was pretty. Not sure how confident I feel heading into this fourth quarter here in a moment, but at least we have a lead, right? That's a good thing. Ixin again for three, but this time it'll go. All the for pretty pretty much right now, without Gordon in there, all they're doing is just rattling off all threes, hoping it falls and hoping that our offense slows down, which it has, to be quite honest with you. A bucket here would be crucial. Is that that's off the mark? I thought that was gonna drop. Four-point game, another chance for the Spurs to pick out a one-score game before the fourth quarter. They're going to milk this clock. Batista crosses. Hickson won't go to him. He'll take the screen instead. He finds Kuzma. His three is off the mark. And that's the end of this first or third quarter. Four-point lead for the Woods and barely in front, hanging on by a thread. We need Halliburton. We need Anderson. We need Don Payne all to step up and... Close this game out. We're going for a sweep. 12 minutes to play. Fourth quarter is here. We lead 77 to 73. We step out of bounds again. How many times have we done it this game? At least three. Come on. Gotta have better court awareness, man. This is brutal. Griffin attacks, and he got the bucket and foul on Anderson, his third. And just like that, things have gotten very scary. I mean, they have been scared for the last, pretty much the entire third quarter. But it's even worse now with a one-point game on our hands. Zet attacks the rim, readjusts mid -air and got it with the left hand. I love when he attacks the rim because usually it's going to go in. Christopher tries to return the favor, but he can't. He gets it back, though, and he kind of does. Anderson rolls to the rim. Murphy won't make the pass. Good call there. We still get the ball to him, though. Time counting down for Keon Murphy. He attacks the rim, and he's fouled by Pogosevsky. Couple of free throws coming up for Murphy. First one good. I appreciate that. Please go two for two. That would be a huge help. The second one is good. Great work. High screen from Gordon. Griffin, the game tying three. But it's back. Iron and said that he finds. Come on, fellas. Let's increase this lead here. To have a good offensive fourth quarter. They've usually been pretty poor for us in this series, despite us being in front for the most part. But Anderson will score. Good job. Five-point lead. Let's keep it going. Bokashevsky hesitates and tries to find Gordon. He gets there. Carney to Anderson. He hesitates. Time's counting down. Got to find something here. Zed has to shoot this. That's a bad look. But Murphy almost stole it. That's twice in a row. Don't tell me they're going to score now. There's a mismatch somewhere for somebody. Screens for Griffin. Back out to Batista. Open tray. But he missed it. Huge break for Vancouver. Anderson. Now Carney with it. He's going to have to shoot this one too. And it's off. Two really bad... Possessions back to back. I'm gunning down for San Antonio now. Griffin fires. Tough shot. Oh my god, that almost fell. Zets. Decent look. Can't get it to go. Both teams can't find a shot these last couple of trips down. 
We gotta get Halliburton back in this game, I think. He's what runs the offense. Gordon bobbles the pass, and it's stolen by Anderson. Who finally forced a turnover. Anderson hesitates. He's got Gordon draped on him, and he's fouled. Halliburton will check pad in after a timeout by the Woodsman. Three-point lead, 7.38 to play. Halliburton checks back in as Keon Murphy inbounds it to Simon Anderson. Under 10 on the shot clock. Anderson, what is that? What the hell, man? Griffin, nice move. Holy heck. Might be his best play of the whole series. Murphy back in down Poco. He's double teamed. I put my nice pass to Anderson here in the corner. But Gordon also a good job to recover on defense and locate him. Time once again counting down. Can we find a good look? Halliburton. No, but he still finishes the play. Through the traffic. I mean, that's why he's out there, man. He's out there to make those clutch plays that he has done time and time again. Shot clock under five for the Spurs. Christopher can't tie it up. Good God. Their, their threes are making me very nervous right now. Double screens for Halley. He sees a lane and then turns the ball over. Why'd he pass that? Nobody was open. Batista, step back three. Not going to drop. Right now the Spurs are not even trying to go for the offensive boards. They're just trying to get back on defense and prevent us from scoring. So far they've done a good job here in this fourth quarter. We barely scored. Anderson won't even get a shot off because Griffin's called for a foul. And that will allow Vanderbilt to check back in for Murphy. So all five starters back out there now for us. Batista still in there off the bench for San Antonio. These last 536. Screen from Payne. Alberton has an open look. And it's off the mark. Neither team could really get a run going here. It's just, it just comes down to a couple of shots that need to fall as Graves steals it off of Hickson. Huge play. He finds Vanderbilt. What a pass by Graves, man. Big play right there. Huge, like, four to five point swing right there. Beautiful stuff. Timeout San Antonio. Five to play. Hokaseski inbounds and Graves jumps the pass for a steal. Huge play. They team up again for a bucket. Vanderbilt and Graves have been awesome on defense. It has turned into offense, and it's been the reason why we are in front right now by seven. Thank you so much, you two absolute beauties. Gordon just can't hit his threes right now. And it's costing San Antonio a lot. Vanderbilt scores again. Batista has a wide open lane. Nobody's there. Alley lobs it, but Poku's there. How does he snatch that, man? Not even halfway between Halliburton and, and the guy that's supposed to catch the lob, but he just grabs it. That's, in, that's just, in, just, just crazy. His, his arm length is insane. Hickson can't knock down the three. Seven point lead. Just over three and a half to go. Come on, boys. We're almost there. Payne over two defenders. Got it. Hickson has a wide open shot again. But he can't find a shot the second half. I think he might be scoreless this half, actually. He had 14 in the first half. He did not have any through the first seven minutes of the second half. As Graves turns the ball over. Griffin penetrates. Hop steps. Could be a tough shot if he takes it. He can't. Gordon has to fade away instead. Bucket and foul. Wow. Can't believe that just happened. Payne is shocked at what he just allowed. Free throw is good, and that is a huge play for San Antonio. Screen for Halley. He takes it. Chance for a three. Not the best shot. 
Ixon steps back, pulls the trigger. He's just throwing shots up with no regard for human life. And they're not falling. Anderson hesitates. Attacks the rim. Can't get it to go, but he draws the fourth on Griffin. That's a big play right there with two minutes left. 18 points for him. Shot pretty well. He's taking his shots very selectfully, but has done a good job when he's taking them. The free throws are both in there. Gordon trying to get aggressive here. Hook shot. Showing off why he's pretty much Kareem 2.0. He's 8 for 12. Anderson steps back. Fires, but it rattles out. And the Spurs have a shot. 90 seconds left. Six point game. No threes allowed. Griffin has a mismatch down low. Will he attack this? He will, and he's fouled. Almost a clean block. Spurs won't go away there. Just hanging on by a thread. Keeping their, them, themselves in arm's reach. It's not over yet. Wow! Halliburton finds pain as he slips by Gordon. Getting behind the defense. Way too easy of a bucket for us to get this slate in this game. Hickson attacks and pain somehow doesn't block that shot. What? He came flying in there. Hickson's got 19 points, so he's got five second half points. Seven for 22 from the field, if I saw that correctly. Anderson back out to Graves. Open three in their lives. He can't. Still a four-point game, 40 seconds left. No threes allowed. In fact, no buckets allowed, please. Poku blocked by Payne. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. The Spurs have to foul. Great defense by Payne. We're one step closer to punching our ticket back into the NBA Finals. The free throw is good for Venom. He's got one more. For a six-point lead. It's up and in. The Spurs use their penultimate timeout. Well, the Spurs use their final timeout right after they, they uh, used their previous one. So, we just kind of wasted it for no reason at all. Which we've done before in this kind of situation. And now they turn it over. It's a steal for Venable. Is it, I, I think it went off the back of Todd Graves. What was AJ Griffin thinking there, man? That just kind of threw the game away. It's over. Venable's going to end this one right here at the charity stripe. And we all know where we are heading. Next time out. The free throws are both in there. Calvin Gordon checks out for the final time this year. They know it's over. Kuzma, the triple, won't fall, and Payne got it. They won't foul. We can just dribble this clock out because we have ended the San Antonio saga by completing a four-game sweep of the Calvin Gordon-led Spurs, and we are heading back to the NBA Finals, everybody. I'll see you there. Western Conference Finals champions once again. We are the better team. Sure. They are missing SGA, but they missed him a lot because they lost every single game in this series. Our defense was absolutely phenomenal. The Spurs could not score over 98 points. Halliburton lifts the trophy, and that is one more to add to our trophy case. Hickson drops 19 points in the loss. The Spurs got 18 points, 19 boards out of Calvin Gordon, too. 
but it wasn't enough. The Woodsman defense once again steps up. The role players for San Antonio cannot replace the production of SGA, and they lose in a sweep. Halliburton drops 22 and 11 on really good shooting numbers. Anderson played very well, 20 points for him. Don Payne a double double. Vanderbilt a double double. Azet 13 points off the bench. Carney 10 off the bench. Can't really ask for, for a whole lot more against a really stout defensive Spurs team. The offense did slow down at points during the game, but with uh, a lack of three pointers falling for either team, you might as well score everywhere else on the court, which we did. Both teams were were just absolutely horrible from three, but we knew that we, that, you know, we were going to be bad. So we took like half as much as they did and we were all the better for it. Great performance. We own the paint despite Calvin Gordon being down there. And we are back in the finals once again. Meanwhile, across the aisle, Davian Mitchell has injured his right Achilles and now he is out for the season for the sound. So now pretty much their two best players are done for the year. How can they rebound from that? Will they enter the NBA Finals to face us? Keon Murphy's fully healed. Don Payne wins Conference Finals MVP, averaging 17.5 and 20 in that four-game series. What a performance from him. Completely well-deserved. The first time seeing this uh, since we've done this before because the first time that we we, we uh, made the finals we did not get this pop-up and it looks like we are gonna face the st louis sound after all paulo bancaro wins ecf mvp dropping 17 points per game seven boards and 6.6 .6 assists with one steal so he's gonna have to lead them if they are gonna want to beat us because their roster is ravaged by injuries ours is fully healthy and it's a St. Louis Sound Woodsman expansion team matchup to end this series. You really can't ask for a more hype matchup than these two teams going head to head. And guess who's back to face us? Ayo Dasudmu. It's been a couple years since we traded him uh, to the Nuggets, I believe it was. But now he is starting in the finals against his former team. They are going to miss their best two players. We have a fully healthy team, so they have an uphill battle. And uh, it's kind of a similar story as to the Spurs series. But can we avoid allowing a win by the sound? Or can we go for a sweep in the finals? Who knows what's going to happen here? I have no idea. We just have to find out starting next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Comment down below, and Game 1 of the NBA Finals starts next time out. I'll see you guys there, and peace.